on the floor here you see an empty vintage Samsonite case and this one is missing the tray it does have its zippered pocket it has its mirror and it's in pretty good condition I have put a sheet on the floor so you can see what I'm doing um, it's in pretty good condition there is some discoloring to some areas of the plastic um, this one is one of the uh, later ones from like the late 60s early 70s it's the Saturn 2 now these are called train cases or um, overnight cases and I want to show you what I do with them and they're wonderful they really are wonderful this is my new empty green one that I've been talking about but I use them for everything this is a purple one from about uh, I think the same time period the handles a little different these are wonderful for keeping knitting crocheting weaving any kind of tools like that in now um, these I have four of them now and these four cases hold enough that you can store other than all my 14 inch straight knitting needles um, all my 10 inch needles will fit in my case but this one I use for weave it looms now weave it looms this one has a half tray and you can see I've got weaving needles and a couple of skeins of yarn there and I have a total of three four five six seven I have nine weavets in there plus more needles um, directions if I forget the basic weave it directions um, the Susan Susan Bates makes weaving needles that are very similar to the original weave -its. and you can see that some of them I store facing up and some of them I store facing down this is the it makes a I think it's a six inch square or five inch square rug loom that takes bulky yarn that's a great one so that one if I were only doing weavets I could take this one case with me and have all of my weaving um, materials available for weavets and I, literally these are they should re, they should make these again I look at um, different tote bags knitting bags organizers all kinds of things by the way they do all still lock so if you buy a knit picks um, circular knitting set at you know sixty or seventy dollars and then take it on a bus with you you can lock it up um, of course you don't want anybody to walk up with the case this is my knitting one and this is a pencil case I use for small items but as you can see this one has a full tray and I've got point protectors, bobbins, um, counters, um, a needle gauge, uh, stitch holders, tape measures, thread, I have everything in the top here and in the bottom I have a total, these are, I think these are made by Clover these are their tapestry knitting needle cases I have one, two, three, four plus one of my own cases for my miniature knitting five different needle cases fit in the bottom and these have my um, nine inch circulars these have double points or circulars I think those are the um, 11 inch circulars by Baleen, the boy Baleen 2. These are my 10 inch straight needles. These are my miniature needles. And these are. No, these are the circulars, so the other ones were the double points. So a total of five cases of needles in here. 
And like I said, the only drawback is that um, it won't hold my 14-inch needles. I do have a couple of pair of uh, vintage wooden needles that are about 12 inches long, and they will fit those. And then normally, I put a few pair of loose needles on top here if I need to grab them. But then I keep that pencil case, and this has um, easy things I can grab, like a crochet hook, um, a few stitch holders. So this little pencil case can go with a project, but the Samsonite holds everything. Everything. Now sometimes they're a little bit pricey. Um, if you look for them with the full top tray like this one, I think it would be around $35, maybe $40. But I have had that one for, um, and that's a shadow that's not dirt. I've had that one for 15 years, maybe. And um, you can't, you can't hurt them. They are vintage, um, hard-sided Samsonites. And then this is another one from about the same time period as the light green aqua one. And like I said, there will be sometimes just coloring or use. I try not to find them with stickers all over them. This also has a full tray, a little bit different styling. And these are my weaving uh, rigid heddle loom or backstrap loom weaving tools. This is a backstrap loom, several heddles, uh, weaving combs for my upright loom, another pencil case with bobbins, and the top tray, um, more combs for weaving, heddles, um, small weaving sticks, weaving needles. They're absolutely wonderful. So, and the reason um, I recommend these is because with this new green one, these four cases are really all I need for most of my tools. What isn't in here um, would be like a yarn ball winder or um, obviously I don't have a sewing machine in one of these, but I could very easily keep a Model 20 in here. A Model 20 and a lot of quilt squares. So, um, I, I mean, that's an idea too. What I'm planning on putting in there, these are all my crochet things. Um, and I have a couple of bags of uh, special crochet hooks, but I have, um, those are my general crochet. These are um, wood, including hand painted. These are steel thread crochet. These are bone crochet. And then I have like an interchangeable crochet head set. A couple of boy sets. I've got glow in the dark head. If you haven't tried these, there are Susan Bates Smart Glow crochet hooks and 14 inch long uh, knitting needles. And they glow in the dark. You put them in the sunlight and then they glow in the dark. And then I have a few loose larger hooks that would fit in the pocket. So this particular one doesn't have a tray, um, but this one was only $15.95 because I found it on Etsy. And um, both Etsy and eBay are generally where I get them. And I look for bargains. Um, some people, I actually have a complete luggage set of, Sam, of vintage Samsonite. For, and so some people try to get um, higher prices for these because the vintage Samsonite luggage is wonderful luggage for luggage. And um, I, like I said, I have a complete set of that. 
but these are the additional cases where I have um, a three-piece luggage set in beige, uh, the small suitcase, the large suitcase, and an overnight case that's a little bit different from these, but similar. It's a train case. Then I have another set of a small suitcase and a train case in green that would be great for like an overnight. And then these four are my tools. So five, nine cases all together of Samsonite, but they would hold clothes, more clothes, um, and four cases with tools. Now, um, one of the overnight cases is actually more of a sewing case. The green um, overnight bag is a, um, it's a little bit smaller train case and I keep um, eight inch doll patterns in there, sewing patterns with a, a couple of eight inch dolls. And those are the type of sewing patterns uh, that can be sewn by hand. So with just my little basic sewing kit, I could actually be making doll dresses to fit the dolls. So there are many, many uses for these. And I'm not really promoting any one seller or anything like that. It's just that over all these years, um, I had a large website for about 20, 22 years. And I do weaving, um, knitting, crocheting. I also do painting. Um, I'm a horticulturist. I do a lot of different things. And organizing things into these kinds of overnight cases has been the most reliable and sturdy way that I have found to use any kind of a tote bag or I mean these especially the knitting one where I've got so much equipment in there um, in my mind they put modern tote knitting totes to shame because of the sturdiness you know, I mean, they're just so rugged. And this one, like I said, I just found for fifteen ninety five. So sometimes you can find them um, for a bargain. And they're a great way to organize any of your tools. Now, I took the crochet hooks back out of there because I want to show you. This is a Singer Model 20 chain stitch sewing machine. It is, um, it was sold originally as uh, both a child's machine. It's not really a toy. It was sold as a child's first sewing machine, but also as a machine for light household use. And there's a clamp. That's a replacement clamp. But you can see in the new green case, it only takes up that much room, and the whole rest of the case could be fabric. So you could put ideally a whole twin size quilt top squares in here and take this with you and there is a woman I believe her name is Carla from Treadle On who when she flies she takes a Model 20 because she can still um, piece quilts together on the on the flight so that would even constitute a carry-on bag so everything would fit right in there. This is the other style I was talking about. Um, this is the one that's almost a sewing case. Now this one also does not have a tray. Now I bought this and an overnight bag that's a little bit larger than this in the green because my grandmother had a full set of Samsonite in the green. So whenever Grandma came over to visit, there came the green luggage. And um, so I bought this, and um, the other one I think is about this much taller and about the same width and kind of narrow. I just didn't grab it when I went to get it. But in here is where I would rather put uh, my Model 20. Now this is kind of a mess right now because I'm in the middle of 
um, fixing. These are my wooden dolls that I need to make clothes for. And this is a Madame Alexander, um, I forget what they're called. There was a, a certain name that they had. They're, they're the 8 inch vintage Madame Alexander dolls. And these are the 8 inch patterns. My wooden dolls are a little bit smaller than that. But the pattern is actually, let me find the pattern. You see, this is all fabric to make the dresses with. Um, I have two patterns I use. There's this one, Simplicity 8 inch doll clothes number 3576. Now you could sew those on a Model 20. And the one that I like is um, a hanky dress and 7 to 8 inch dolls hanky pattern House of Biscotti. It's an adorable little dress. Very easy to make. Um, and then I actually have to put these together. Now here's nostalgia for you. I was a brownie. And I've got to sew the patches on. Um, if that isn't nostalgic. But some of these are vintage hankies. And some are plain fabric. Um ribbons. I'm trying to think what else I have in here. Oh, shoes. And that's this is the original Madame Alexander outfit. But that pattern, um, between those patterns, you can make undies, an apron, a little dress. So at the bottom of the case here, now, this is quite a bit to keep in here, and my goal is to organize this a little bit better and put the Model 20 in here. So you can see that it's just a little bit smaller than the other one, side to side, um, and it's about the same width. I believe there should have been a tray that sat at the top. Um, this one was a little bit more expensive than the plastic ones. But I could easily organize the clothes there. And by keeping that lowered, there's my Model 20. And, you know, Model 20s are actually great for sewing doll clothes. But they're also wonderful, as I said, for quilting or uh, piecing especially with you can't machine quilt unless you can fit the quilt in here you could probably make a doll quilt or a small size quilt but if i reorganize this box and can put the model 20 in there then i have a way to have this be not only a case that holds some of my eight inch dolls but it can be a case it can I can put a sewing kit in there or a few spools of thread and you know my whole little sewing kit could be in here for these size dolls um, or I could use it the same way as that one and just put the model 20 and a bunch of fabric in there so this is why um, I'm making the video because you know, some vintage things have uses or values that you don't think of right away. Like, probably when you look at a Samsonite case, you go, oh, wow, I remember that kind of luggage. Well, that kind of luggage outlasts, in my opinion, just about anything modern. So, like I said, this one is a little bit different, and this one's going to get reorganized to have a Model 20. I've mentioned a couple of times that I'm in the middle of moving, and it's kind of an, um, a weird situation because 
uh, the apartment actually needs some repairs and so it's all being negotiated whether I stay here during the repairs or whether I have to leave now if I set that up with a model 20 and put the crochet hooks back in there and have my other three cases as I move I only have to take these five cases and I have more than enough to do um, the weave it all I would need is yarn or fabric and I can continue doing what I've been doing with all of these I wouldn't have my large looms and um, I wouldn't have a large sewing machine with zigzag I would have to make do with a model 20 but they all lock and you can get keys um, for them I'm not sure if there are several different key types or not I'm, I'm not sure about that I have had some keys that will fit more than one case and some keys that don't fit but one case so I'm not I'm not really sure on that you could probably ask a locksmith um, the only too bad is it's too bad a singer Spartan wouldn't fit in there because there's my Spartan right over there waiting to go back on on a table and unfortunately it wouldn't fit in here and then it would probably be too heavy for the case anyway but a model 20 will fit in there and a model 20 you know I I'm probably be saying this for the rest of my life people think that they're not really good machines to use they actually are depending on what you're doing I wouldn't try to make overalls of jeans on them but you can sew so many things and so many projects with them so if I had to go a month with a model 20 I don't think it would hurt me at all and so that is going to end up or one of them I have several of them so one of them is going to end up in there I actually have two of them that have their own suitcase but then I'm adding a whole nother case just for the machine if I can fit the machine in here it'll be easier for me so these have been the Samsonite cases and what you can use them for now I want to go back to the crochet case uh, for a moment I have put everything in there and obviously it'll close this one the clearance in the top is about an inch and a half um, a couple of the other older ones have a deeper clearance on the top so when you're looking at these um, especially online and checking things out look for the clearance some have a full mirror some have a mirror that sits with my battery ran out on the camera I'm sorry um, I was saying some have a smaller mirror that fits into a fabric covered area um, in the center so there will be different interiors when you see things like this this obviously had quite a deep tray at least two inches deep probably similar to my knitting case um, I might even be able to find the tray separately and buy it separately so so there are all my crochet hooks but I want to show you something else one um, book that I love I've bought a couple of copies of it and I do that a lot because um, I'll buy one to keep it in like pristine condition and one as a using copy but anyway the, the crochet book I love is called the woman's day book of granny squares and other carry along crochet now the reason I like this it's a little bit 70s um, when crochet was very popular but it's full of wonderful ideas it only has a few color pictures there's a sweater a vest a belt a skirt this is what I want to make next which is a coat um, for the dog out of granny squares now I've made the dog um, knitted sweaters weave it square sweaters um, I think this will be her first crocheted sweater 
You can even make a men's tie or a tie. Women can wear ties too. And one of my goals is to make a flap, ear flap hat. And I have four or five different um, ideas for how I want to do it, but here's a crochet version. On commercial patterns, I've usually only seen um, knitted. And this is the sweater I want to make. And these are all granny squares, which is, um, you know, you can do granny squares. Not only can you take them with you, but you can um, put them down and walk away from them and then go back to them when you can. So, I mean, that's an advantage to crochet. And this is on my list. This is, you know, just a, a classic granny square afghan sized for a bed with each of the um, squares edged in black. So that's on my list. And a placemat. That's four by five. I, I've made quilted placemats. You know, so it's the same thing, only using yarn instead of fabric and quilting. Anyway, this is a wonderful book. And what I'm thrilled about now, the book actually fits in here. Now, um, the item in my home that's screaming my name right now are my knitting Nancys. Um, everything I do kind of goes back down to knitting Nancy's and spool knitting and I mean I'm I'm joking a little bit but I'm eyeing this thinking how many knitting Nancy's could I really fit in here and where else could I keep the crochet if the knitting Nancy's get this so be prepared that Samsonite cases might get addictive because um, I actually have 72 knitting Nancy's, both um, those that I've made myself and those that are commercial. And right now I have them in a cardboard box because the thread racks that I have that hold them, um, because I'm moving, I'm trying not to set up things the way I would normally have them. So they're in a box and it drives me crazy because I have to... Every day I'm running for that box to go get one to do something. So anyway, knitting Nancy's would fit in here. Especially one without a tray. And usually, um, in my case, I use yarn scraps for spool knitting. So, you know, let's say the knitting Nancy's go up to here. The whole top layer could be the yarn. You know, so... I'm sitting here thinking, well, I actually now need another one um, instead of the cardboard box for the Knitting Nancy's. There are so many uses for them. And this crochet has waited a long time to get one. And um, at the same time, one of the things I'm facing, if it turns out that um, the owner of the house is going to do the repairs, we're talking major repairs. Painting, um, redoing all the floors, replacing all the windows, and all the appliances, and there was some other big thing that they need to do. If they do all of that work, I am going to be in one room and not moving because there are going to be workmen coming and going in every direction. And this is my purpose for getting these cases organized and why um, I would probably put a Model 20 in the, the little sewing doll case instead of adding a suitcase. I may actually be in one room with my five cases while they tear the, the apartment apart. So, you know, you don't always run into a situation like that. Most of the time you're going somewhere for the weekend or you're going on a trip or something and you might want to take um, a project with you or something to do or maybe you babysit for people or maybe you take care of an elderly person and you can sit and crochet with them. 
So, I mean, there are so many different ways that you can use one of these, and they really are wonderful cases. So now, my Knitting Nancys will all be wishing they got the green case, and I'll have to pick out another one for them.